is Wabbit. So a uh, little explanation of that mess that I just did. Uh, really was pulling out an old friend here in the 707 and uh, showing it a little love and, and just doing some more with it. I, I've been neglecting it, to be honest with you. The focus has been on other things. And it, it's, it's just a, a really fun groove box to, to play around with. So um, this is really me just taking those baby steps to get more familiar with it again and, and just appreciating what you can do. Um, all I did was had two tracks, uh, drum track, and, and really all I did is on a few of the different pads, I just altered um, some of the parameters, you maybe change the level, the course, and, and just kind of listen to stuff to kind of see, you know, what I wanted. And then just threw in uh, a random pattern. It was just a 16 step, nothing terribly um, exciting. Uh, and then on the tone track, uh, what I did was started out with a, a basic um, in it tone. Um, and then uh, I've got, uh, let's see, on oscillator one, just a saw, uh, oscillator two, a square, adjusted the PW and PWN. You just kind of using my ears to really listen, uh, adjusted the course and the fine tune on that, and then put in a Juno, again, adjusted some of the parameters. I didn't get, I didn't mess around with the LFOs and amps and filters. Uh, really is just getting started again, um, taking kind of baby steps, learning some of the basics, um, getting that muscle memory back, um, and, and leave it as simple as that. So um, this is your basic when you start out with a new project. That's what it sounds. So not a big difference, but again, just doing a little layering with the different oscillators. And then obviously with the performing, it was really mo for, excuse me, focused on the drums, you know, muting and unmuting a couple things, did a little cheesy <laughs> uh, freeform there uh, in, in the middle. And then the end with the scatter, what that was is for each 16 steps, when I just hold um, a step down, I can assign one of these 16 different scatter effects. So I just picked this one here to go to all 16. And then as you saw at the end, I just, you know, used that to kind of fade out the mess. So nothing terribly exciting. Um, I want to get this thing more out on the desk and, and I've been sitting in front of the computer. I'll have a video playing and looking for tutorials, tips and tricks, practicing along with it. And uh, I really don't have any goals or objectives with this. Um, the way I've got my little hutch set up, I can pull this thing out, mess around, maybe record the mess. Uh, it's not intended to be perfect. Uh, if you have a device and you haven't, you know, mess with it in a while, pull it out. It, again, it's a, a really fun device. I know there's a lot more you can do with this and um, just kind of take it a day at a time and spend, you know, maybe five, 10 minutes with it and, you know, put it back up to the side and, you know, maybe next day or, or day or two, come back to it as opposed to trying to learn everything. Cause I, that's what I tried to do with this thing early on is to try and learn the entire thing at once. And it's a lot. Um, so anyway, that's it. Nothing terribly exciting. Uh, hope you had a little fun and, uh, get out there and, uh, you know, whatever your gear is, just have some fun with it. It doesn't really matter what you're using. This is Wabbit. Thanks for watching. Please be kind to yourself. Get out there and have a lot of fun and just get started.